How's it going guys? I'm back with another video. Uh, today's video is going to be something, uh, hopefully is going to be simple. But what ended up happening was that my uh, my wiper stopped working. If I go, if I try to like do the, do the small uh, increments to uh, just turn on the wipers, it doesn't do it. However, if I go to like a normal wiper mode, if I go like this, um, it actually ends up working, but I think the little mechanism inside here stopped working um, when I go like this, when I do the, the like the mist spray kind of thing. So when I'm, what it did was I went online and I was like, I hope hopefully they have replacements for these and they, and they actually do. I got it from this company right here, um, the Parts Place uh, Inc. Uh, I forgot how much this was. I think it was like maybe a hundred bucks. I think I gotta make sure, but I'll put the the link and um, in the description box below. But it actually comes in brand new um, from what it looks like. I'm, let me unbox it real quick. So this is what it looks like, brand new. The the letters are nice. Um, it feels beefier. Um, yeah. So don't. I, it looks like that they actually just repainted this and maybe. This something I don't know. It looks way better than this one, um, and I'm hoping this one works better. But yeah, so this is the part number, and apparently these go from 1994 all the way to 2002. Um, worked on Camaros um, and a whole bunch of other cars that GM actually used this on. And so what I'm gonna do is uh, take the old one out, um, and as you can see, doesn't look to be that difficult. And look how look see look at the difference. This and then this. Like barely, it, like a huge difference. Um, I know it's a horrible camera angle, but you get the you get the idea. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the cover piece off, and it looks like it's just this one little connector pin right here um, to do this. So I'm gonna attempt to take this off very carefully and go from there. So all I, all I did was. Get the little screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and pop that off of me right there. And as you can see, here's a little connector. This little connection right here. And you take your flathead screwdriver. See how it's bending up, up a little bit? Don't bend it too much, obviously, because it'll break. But once you bend this up, and then you pr you can pry open the. Sorry, once you pry this open a little bit, then you can uh, unplug it from there. Let me put the camera back. There it goes. So all I did was get that little lever and it does have a little bit of wiggle room from right here when you push it out this way to, to actually remove it. So now that I do that, apparently the trick is to remove this from this stock, this button right here, is to get that guide out. This little guide out from that side. So, says the twist, push in, twist counterclockwise, and push out. All right, so I finally got it, and I got it outside of the video, but this is what I did to, to get to remove this out. Don't be afraid to, to, uh, to do this. So you're gonna have it on the off position, right? Once you have it in the off position, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold these two down with your fingers at the same time like this, and then you're gonna pop this out. This lever right inside here is what's gonna stuck in the mechanism. Again, you hold, you're gonna have this in the off position like this as so, and all you gotta do, see that, how there's a guide? I'm not sure if the, the zoom can work in. Um, if it's capturing it but it's gonna be right here let me get the, the camera and then I'll put the camera back so I'm gonna zoom in okay so see that little guide pin right there that's your guide pin and what it does is, all it is is just gonna go inside right here look so while you're trying to pull it that's why it has to be in the off position. So when, when it's get, it has to be a line, I had it literally a line like this and all you can't be afraid to do it, but 
um, what you want to do is, like I said, have your other two fingers right here, and then you're just going to pop it off. That's all it was. It was pretty easy. Uh, you just can't be afraid to, uh, to hold on to it. Let me put the camera back. So the new one, do the same thing in reversal, in just uh, reversal order. Put the, put the connector in through. It's gonna go above here. And there's a little slot for it. And before I even, get, before I'm connecting this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna guide it in here first. So again, it has to be in the off position. You're gonna hold this as you're installing it and you're gonna press it in the guide button in the guide so I can check it out if I can let me zoom out not zoom out but see if I can okay so you see that it's gonna go right inside here while it's getting the off position and all I'm gonna do is press inside and it's gonna go in Like that, and now it's in. Just that, just that simple. So what I'm gonna do now is just connect everything, and just just letting you know, the new wire that they gave you, that they gave you is almost a little bit longer. Um, see, see the difference? It's a little bit longer than the original one, but it's still the same premise. You're still gonna. If I can get it in the video screen, can. I'm just gonna put it down here, but you guys get the idea. The connection, this little piece, goes facing this way, like so. And it's gonna click in. I found an issue with the new, the new cable. So, take a look. I took the cover off so you can see the difference. See the difference in, right here, if I can zoom in. Look at the thickness of this, and look at the thickness of that it's way thicker. So what ends up happening is that if you route it the way I had it originally, if, so I'm gonna have it like this. I'm gonna have this in the back right here underneath. But instead of putting this down here, you're gonna put this one above here. So when you do use a, the turn signal, it actually hits. When I had this routed down here, it would hit the bottom piece and it wouldn't work it wouldn't turn on all right so everything came off fine everything works um you're gonna have to give it a few times uh turn this uh, quite a few times and make sure everything is working uh but it it feels a lot more firmer um i just got to test out obviously i'm assuming everything's gonna work from the cruise control but i'll do that once i get on the highway uh the push button on this works um and like i said i gotta test it out the, test this out as soon as i get on the road um, the delay works is fine. I'm not going to put that on the camera because it's, you know, it's just something boring, but everything else works fine. Everything moves at the same speed. I'm not going to do it anymore since, um, I don't want to mess up my new windshield, uh, but everything works. Uh, the product is great. Um, everything looks new and here's a part number again, um, right here. Uh, and like I said before, it looks way better than the original. But I'm gonna keep this just in case um, maybe I can repaint it or have somebody, um, or maybe have the company do it. I'm not sure, I'm gonna ask them if they rebuild these um, so they can send me this back so I can have another, an extra one of these lying around just in case something happens with this. Uh, but yeah, so you can see the difference. Um, the only thing I don't like is this cable is thicker and you gotta reroute it differently and it's a little bit longer right here. That's the only difference. That, the only difference on it's not a really a gripe um, but that's the only thing I would change a little bit thicker wiring um, for uh, so you can put it down here so you won't see this cable I don't know just a little pet peeve of mine because the original one was down here and you can really couldn't see it but other than that that was pretty much just a uh, short little quick uh, video um, I'll see you guys again soon